we're going to take a look at the Pythagorean relationship, or Pythagoras' theorem. This is a really important concept that you're going to learn here, um, one that you will use in every math course from here on in. So it's really important that we understand this theorem and that we're able to use it, uh, because we will be using this lots all the way through school. But here's what he did. He said, and his theorem only works in a right triangle. That doesn't mean that there's right or wrong triangles. Um, a right triangle in mathematics means that one of the angles here is 90 degrees in the triangle. So usually we do a little box like that to represent 90 degrees. Uh, but what he found was that if you take the three sides of any triangle that has a 90 degree angle in it, and you build squares off the sides of the triangle. So in other words, let's make them green. Okay, so now let's draw a green square off of this triangle. make it a little bit thicker. There we go. I like that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we build a square off of this side. Something like that. And this one's going to be hard to do because my squares this one's going to have to go on an angle, so I'm just going to draw this one manually. It's just going to be hard to do. Oh, let's try to get it green. It's not going to be the same color green. Something like that. And then what he found was he found the area of the side of this square on the side. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Or 4 times 4, 4 squared, which is 16. And this side here is 3 on the triangle. And so the square, this side would be 3, 2. 3 times 3, the area of this is 9. And then what he did was he found the area of this square as well. And if we measure this and we measure this, we would find that this is 5 by 5. And 5 times 5 is 25. And then he noticed this. If you took the two small squares, 9 and 16, and added them together, 9 plus 16 is 25. Notice how the area of the two small squares add to the area of the big square. And so this is what he found on every single right triangle. If you took the area of the squares, the two small squares, they always add to the area of the big square. So here I've got another triangle. There's a blue triangle here. And um, let's uh, just indicate that there is a this is a 90 degree angle down here and so I've built a square off this side and I built a square off this side and I know that the area of this square on this short side is 22 and the area of this short side is 15 and then here's a triangle sorry here's a square off the long side of the triangle the long side of a triangle has a special name it's called the hypotenuse. Okay, so the hypotenuse really just means the long, longest side of a triangle. So that would actually be this side here. The two shorter sides of a triangle we call legs. They're the smaller one. That's just some vocab there. If this is the area off of the square off the one of the legs, and this is the area of the square off the other leg, 
then what would the area be on the hypotenuse? Well, we know from his theorem that the area of this square plus the area of that square must equal the area of the hypotenuse square. And 15 plus 22 is 37. So the area of this square would be 37 centimeters squared. So just remember that, that the area of the two small squares always adds to the area of the big square. So now sometimes what we will do is we will call this short side here A, the length of this side A, and we'll call the length of this side B, and we'll call the length of the hypotenuse C, the longest side. Then his, his relationship, the Pythagorean relationship, basically then says this. If you take this side and you square it, because we know that A times A would be A squared. So A squared plus B squared, which would be the area of the square off this side, B times B, which is B squared. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So C squared would be the area of the square off of this side. So this is the must-know relationship for Pythagoras' theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So let's see if this triangle is a rectangle. We've got a side length here of 6, we've got a side length here of 8, and the hypotenuse is 10. So according to Pythagoras' theorem, 6 squared, this side squared, plus this side squared, must equal the hypotenuse, the longest side squared. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. It doesn't matter the order that you pick the two legs in. I could have gone 8 squared plus 6 squared, but it must equal the hypotenuse squared. So this number 10 must be must be right here, but the 6 and the 8 could go in the opposite order. So short squared plus short squared equals the long side squared. And 6 times 6 is 36, and 8 times 8 is 64, and 10 times 10 is 100. Let's see if this is true. 36 plus 64, 36 plus 64 is 100. So this is, this is true. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So this must be a right angle, because Pythagoras' theorem only works in right triangles. So here's a couple examples. Of a triangle, this side's 4. Let's put some units on here. How about 4 centimeters, 5 centimeters, 6 centimeters? And the question is, is this a right triangle? So is that a 90 degree angle there? Well, if I can show that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then this would be a right triangle because Pythagoras' relationship would work. So one of the short side is 4. I'm going to take that and I'm going to square that. And the other short side is 5. I'm going to take that and square that. And I'm going to add that together and see if that equals 6 squared, the hypotenuse squared. Well, 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 5 is 25. And 6 times 6 is 36. But if I take 16 and I add 25 to that, 16 plus 25 would be 41. And 41 does not equal equal with a slash through it. 46, 41 does not equal 36. So this is not a 90 degree angle because Pythagoras' theorem did not work. a squared plus b squared did not equal c squared. Let's look at this second example here. Here this triangle has a little box in the corner which means that it is a right triangle. So According to Pythagoras' theorem, the area of the short one plus the area of the other short one must equal the area of the big one. So in this case, I've got to find the area of the small side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the big one, 69, and subtract the small area, 40. And when I do that, I get an area of 39. 
So that must be the area of this one here. Because then 40, oops, not 30, uh, 29. Then 40 plus 29 equals 69. 40 plus 29 is 69. So the area of this uh, small box on this side here would be 29 centimeters squared. And in our final example here, let's see if we can find what the area of the square would be on this side of, of the triangle. Oh, let's, let's tell people that it's a, a right triangle. Well, we know what this side length here, the side length is 3, and we know that this side length is 11. So in other words, we are going to use Pythagoras' theorem again that says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And I know that a is 3, so th 3 squared plus, whoop, and I know that b is 11. So my two short sides are 3 and 11. And now I just got to find that hypotenuse area. So 3 squared is 9, and 11 squared is 121. So 9 plus 121 is 130. And so the area off C is 130 centimeters squared. So just remember that Pythagoras' theorem is a very important theorem, one that we use a lot in mathematics. It works in triangles that have a 90 degree angle in it. And the relationship that he saw was the two short sides, when you square their lengths and add them together, will always equal the hypotenuse squared. So remember, a squared plus b squared equals c squared.